This is Luke Jones the other way from beautiful Baku, capital of Azerbaijan. Boiling hot in Baku in the midday sun. The fountains behind me aren't even on yet, but the heat is not going to stop us from showing you around this magnificent city. Join me. Now before I get too carried away and dive in and start telling you all about the city, I should start by saying that Baku and I have history, quite a lot in fact, going back almost 20 years to my first ever visit here, which was in 2004 when the English national team, that's football, played Azerbaijan in a World Cup qualifier. England scraped a 1-0 victory, the weather was awful. Baku was still pretty Soviet back then, but it's now a city transformed, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you now. The thing that strikes you most when you first arrive in Baku is how the city beautifully encapsulates the old and the new. So we're going to kick off in the old town, which is by far the best place to start any tour. So, old town, here we come! Inside the walls of the old town, it's obviously very touristy here, but it does function as a place where people still live and work. Given the intense heat though, in the middle of the day, not surprisingly, there's not a whole lot of punters around. Sure, we'll spot a few, but at least they won't get in our way. Talking of temperatures, it's perhaps not surprising that it's hot here. It's the height of summer, middle of the day, but gets cold in winter, so the average temperature throughout the year is 14 degrees, which, interestingly, is exactly the same as the global average temperature. Probably the high point of the old city is Maiden's Tower, as you can see it behind me. There's a standard legend of some poor girl threw herself off the tower when things didn't work out with her lover. Whether it's really true or not, I have absolutely no idea. I wasn't around back then, but safe to say that you get the best views of Baku from the top. So up we go. Eight stories and 120 something steps later, we made it to the top of the Maiden Tower. Check out the view. Behind me, you should be able to see the sea. Baku's located on the western side of the Caspian, and it's actually the lowest capital city in the world. It's built about 30 meters below sea level. You're probably thinking, hang on, how does that work without it being submerged? Well, sea level's a bit of a misnomer because the Caspian Sea is not an ocean, it's a sea. Seas are at different levels. So, luckily, we're going high up here, we're not going to sink. If you're wondering what's funding all of the new Baku construction, well, it's one simple three-letter word, oil. Now, oil has been pumped here since the 1850s. The Baku oil fields provided the Soviet Union with 85% of its oil needs around the time of the Second World War. But it's only now, with capitalism in place, that you're seeing massive construction and a totally new face of Baku. 
They don't just build stuff in Baku, they host things as well. Azerbaijan has all kinds of events. Probably the best known one at the moment is Formula One. You can see behind me that all the seats are still up, but uh, that's just a reflection of how big the event is here. It's not popular with anyone because it means closing down the city for about two weeks. You get cars racing through the old town, but it looks pretty good on the telly. Given the warm weather, one of the more pleasurable pastimes is taking a walk along the promenade. So let's follow the locals in their stride and check out because it's a long walk all the way around the bay. Given how frequently I've mentioned the warm weather, I should probably throw in one interesting fact. During communist times, the only place in the Soviet Union that manufactured air conditioning units was based here in Baku. And perhaps not surprisingly, their biggest customer was Cuba. Sadly, we're coming to the end of our little excursion around Baku. I've been fortunate to visit many times over the years and with any luck, I'll be back again soon. Always enjoy my visits here. Now, I'm often asked, what's it really like here? Is Baku Europe, Asia? Is it the West meets the Orient? Is it Moscow meets the Mediterranean? My advice is you come down and check it for yourself. This has been Luke Jones, The Other Way. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and stick with us for a lot more.